right. we, we have to, we can model it, but we cannot predict with precision where everybody's going to be at any given time. Okay. Because it's chaotic. The chaos. So it's basically, it's about the chaos. It's about the it's chaos. It's all about the chaos. Yeah. So what we do is we model the chaos. Right. Right. We say this will be statistically looking like this over time. You're not going to track one object through the system. Exactly. For eternity. That's not going to work. Here, we're talking about how a universe ruled by precise laws can still refuse to give us precise answers. Not because the laws crumble, but because tiny uncertainties get amplified by the machinery of those laws. Edward Lawrence learned this the hard way in the 1960s when rounding a number in a weather model just at the third decimal place produced a completely different storm a few days later. The equations hadn't changed. The information had. That's the key. In systems where small differences grow exponentially, asking for exact predictions becomes like asking a microphone to sing opera. It's the wrong tool. So what do we do in a universe that's touchy to initial details we can't ever know exactly? We step back from the single path and study the crowd of possibilities. Think of the asteroid belt. Most rocks there orbit peacefully between Mars and Jupiter. But at certain distances, Jupiter's tug aligns just right. Mean motion resonances that pump up their eccentricities a little each orbit until a safe path becomes a planet-crossing one. That's how we get the curve.